Alrighty then. Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We are going to be starting off with some... Apparently this level, the slippery climb. One wonders, why would you ever want to climb something that's slippery? Then again, this is Crash, so who knows? Hopefully we won't run into that many annoyances like we did last time, because like, so far the game is good. Just running into a few bothersome bits and bops. And break every box of our dying to earn a special gem. But that is pain and misery. Oh boy, more time and... Ah, crap. <laughs> Already, because I was like, oh, that looks safe. No, it's not. I'm a fool. No, oh well. I did not realize I was so low on lives. Probably should have seen that coming. <laughs> Point of the slippery stairs if they're not going to, uh. <laughs> yes, if they're not going to. <laughs> oh, honestly, I feel safer using the D pad! What? Alright. A little bit of a... <laughs> yes, step on the prisoner's hand. That'll stop him from his treacherous ways of grabbing at you. <laughs> it's just such a weird enemy. Alright. I just kind of instinctively went for the jump. Not damn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. And that life won't be there anymore. That's a bit of a, I guess, smart design. And that was not smart of me. I'm too impatient for this game. Of patience. No, I did it again. These are just a little too fast for my liking. Just an itsy bitsy little too fasty. Plus, again, the perspective is hurting me. Step on his hands. <laughs> Such a weird way to kill an enemy. Meh. Destroy the boxes. Whoop. Whoop. Wah. I did it again! Stupid rounded edges! You'd think that they would make the platforming super good. But no, they had to round everything out. What is square not a creative... Well, at this point, it, square is not the creative shape because it's just leading to pain, death, and the rage of a beast. Specifically me. I am the beast. Do not sing your mob song just yet. What the hell? He dodged my spin. It was rude. Yeah, gang, you know. Not yet. Now is there yet? I just. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's just too weird. You have to jump on this moving thing so you can get onto this other moving thing. Come on. Don't you know how to actually teach the player anything, game? Then again, the rounded edges don't help. I probably would be further into the level by now if the rounded edges didn't exist. Because you know what happens when you stand on a ledge? You roll off because that square ledge is actually round. Oh, get up. Square. Be there or be square. And even if you do be square, you're still gonna be a circle and you're gonna kill everybody you love. Like that guy. You love him. He knows it. That's why he wants out. So he can find you again. Proceed his love. Wabba. Flubba.
God damn it. I pressed the jump button and it's just like, oh, sorry, you didn't do the super jump. Because we don't like you. And fly the bandicoot. Fly. <laughs> Crash versus Flash. Who would win? Then there's the surprise enemy, suffering succotash. Dang it. I don't lag. Shut up. Once again, why give that to me? It's not the things that are hitting me that are killing me. It's everything else. It's those there instant death kill pits. From the death penalties of silence and pain and misery. Hey, an animation I didn't see that guy before. How do you like the walls, Aku Aku? You seem to be enjoying them quite a bit. Damn it. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. It's like, once again, it's just getting to the point of just like, I don't know if I care, because the design seems just a little bit stupid to me. It's just like, why should I care? Why should I get invested in your level design if I'm not going to be able to make it because the design is weird? Also, I like how it plays the swoosh sound effect for that guy, even though he just, ah, oh, he stepped on my hand and doesn't go flying like everything else. Screw the extra life! I got an Igor head. Wish it was a checkpoint instead. <laughs> Jump on the hands. Where's the checkpoint here? Dang it, that was a jumper. Diddle dang. Why was it so long? Out of place. Give me it all. Nothing in there. Don't know why it's there. To instill despair. Damn it. Where's the checkpoint? Getting angry here. No, jump off the ledge. Why is it only now that there's a random point of, oh yeah, that we're gonna put an invisible wall here when nothing else does? It's just weird. Game yeah, a game that you're not even in yet. Go away. Is he the game over screen for the last game? I don't think so. Hint. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. That you're not gonna earn here. Because we're jerks. I hate the timing. Yeah. Game messes with my brain. Just kill myself because I'm not gonna make it through. Because everything is pain. Again, why give me the rutabaga? If you're not gonna actually throw enemies at me that do single damage. It's all the platforming that's killing me. Which makes me kind of wonder if it's the platforming that they do terribly in this game. Well, terribly. In relation to the other parts that are fun in this game. Because it just takes so long, it's kind of slow to get to the other platforming bits, so it's just annoying. Whereas the faster, like, auto-scroll stages are actually kind of fun. But when you try to do the expert platform in, you kind of fall flat. Like the platforms. Uh, we're gonna have it so that you can hit these spikes and die. But not die, because you have the little Aku Aku mask, so you just have to sit there and die anyway. 
Such brilliant design. Yeah, you seriously can't get up there unless you're lucky. And if it's even possible. So, I seriously question why? Why do you make me suffer? Just wish that there was a slight better design overall in certain places, and I'm not sure if it's the remix fault of the original games. It's like, meh. Damn it. Hate your time and you just kill me. Pain and misery. Once again, stop giving me the rutabaga. It does nothing. It's just pain. So far, there's only been like one spot where it's really like, oh, you can survive now. And that's far into the level. A level with no checkpoints, apparently. And it is pain. And it is misery. And it is not that fun. Is this that level that they re-added in that's terrible? I could believe it. What the hell? Fuck you! I was on the platform there! That's on you, developers. Aikai, you're being terrible. We're gonna have random invisible walls now! Instead of, you know, making a good game, we're gonna make it bad. Just let me fall off. They just have like a little suicide perch for no reason other than like, oh yeah, we put the invisible walls here so we're gonna put a little thing here so you can easily die. I can only assume. And for whatever reason, there's a loading screen. I don't understand that. Everything else is super fast except the loading screens to the levels. Is it really that- does it really take that long to calculate, like, how many lives you're gonna give me? It's five. You give me five lives. I hate you. Don't know why this one's supposed to be super easy. But it's just annoying me. Could be those rounded ledges again, I don't know. Meh. Because, like, this doesn't feel challenging. It feels annoying. We're gonna have annoying patterns. Don't know why. That part's hitting me now. When it's not supposed to. Meh. Don't know why. This part's just getting to me now because I hate it. I hate this level. Wait, what are we gonna do to make this game more difficult? We're gonna make it annoying. That's what difficulty is, right? It's like trying to play a fighting game with somebody poking you with a toothpick. That's not challenge. It's annoying. And just is bubba. Why? I hate it. I don't like it. It's not a challenge here. Why can't you skip the, what is the Symphony of the Night with you can't skip in the game over screens with the long loading screens? Once again, why can't I skip you? You mean, you're nothing. You're not even that interesting of a game over screen. Break every box without dying, they're in a special gym. Because you know, somebody would want to learn to do this without dying. And by without dying, we mean in real life, because we know what this game might ins inspire in you. That Aku Aku Mask isn't for Crash, it's for the player. Friggin' finally made it past that first part after so stinking long. Don't like the timings. 
The timings mess with my brain. And speaking of timings that mess with my brain. Could go for that extra life. Don't want to. Almost thought I wasn't going to make it there. Well, that's bullshit. Fuck you. Ah, we're going to have the thing that makes it so it's hard for them to jump. Screw you. You already have weird things going on. You don't need that. Not at all. Then again, it might be better in the original game. Because this. It is like, with that kind of thing, like, that doesn't need to be there. There's already a bunch of time and shit. There's not gonna be a checkpoint for so long. That basically becomes a... Guaranteed death. Most of... <laughs> a mostly confirmed death if you hit that, because it stops you jumping arc. So just like, wah. 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 Yeah, like that. Wah. And then die. Oh. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Damn it. Why have a spike there at all? So stupid and annoying. And again with the, hey, here's an Aku Aku mask. It's like, why? It has no purpose. Except to be annoying. There's so many spikes that don't serve purposes here. They're just there to annoy the player if they have an Aku Aku mask. And if you die, you get an Aku Aku mask sometimes. I hate. I hate. Why do you have some of these design decisions? How am I supposed to care about a game that doesn't care about me? Here's a thing that can potentially help you, but it probably won't. Just gonna let go so we don't make any mistakes. What the hell? I... Screw you, game. Or was that my last life in the... Hmm. I'm confused. I swear that checkpoint wasn't there last time. I swear. And there was the bounce thing again, but it's hard to tell because... Lighting. Lighting of the backgrounds hurt my soul. Almost didn't make it. I hate opposing timers. I hate opposing timers so much. Sync them up. Or did you not design this game? Okay. Only time Makuaku came in handy. Yeesh. See, now that's where kind of a spike makes sense. Just not in the parts where... Damn it. Also, it took away my ability to jump, I swear. Also, I don't like the timings on these stairs. It feels weird. Especially after all the other timers in the game.